Hey guys, what we're going to be talking about today is creating a set of data from an equation. So I'm going to write an equation on the board and show you what I mean by creating a data set. Let's say we have the equation, I don't know, y equals 3x plus 7. That's just what I'm going to use. But this same process that I'm talking about will work no matter if your equation looks like this, if you have an x squared in it, if you have anything there, right? Like it can be some weird, crazy equation. As long as you have an x, an input, and a y, an output, then you can make a data set. Now I'm going to actually label those terms I mentioned just now. Because I think a lot of us have heard, you know, the idea of input and output. It's something that we've talked about a long time ago in mathematics whenever we were probably pretty young. You know, the idea that if you put in a five, maybe you get out a seven, right? That's what happens when we're trying to create a data set from an equation. We choose a set of X values or a set of inputs. We use the equation to calculate our Y values or our outputs for each of those chosen x values. Now, sometimes you have specific x values you need to choose. You know, whether questions require that, or maybe a teacher's requiring that, whatever it may be. But if I personally am just trying this out, and I know those, those boxes are not well spaced, but uh, if I'm just trying something out, if I just want to create a set of values, or maybe I'm trying to do this for the purposes of graphing a line, then I like to choose a couple negative values and a couple positive values and a zero. So negative two, one, zero, one, and positive two. It can be anything though. Again, you could be doing numbers in the millions, you could be doing crazy negative numbers, you can be doing anything. Now here's how it would work. What we would do is we would take this equation and say these are our inputs or our x values. So let's put them in to the equation. Well, three times x plus seven. If I wanted to try out negative two, I would write that in place of x. Three times negative two plus seven. Well, three times negative two is negative six, and negative six plus seven is one. So we get for the input of negative 2, an output or a y value of 1. So that is our first data point. Negative 2 input gets us a 1 output. Let's try some of these others. For 1, y equals 3 times 1 plus 7. Oh, 3 times 1. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be, I just noticed I wrote it wrong supposed to be negative one. Three times negative one is negative three. Negative three plus seven is four. So for our x value of negative one, we got a y value of four. Now, I could go through and try all of this and make a very boring video to watch, even more boring than watching math tutorials might normally be, but uh, I'm gonna save you that time. If we put in zero, we get seven, putting in one gets us 10, putting in two gets us 13. Now, you could check all those yourself if you so choose. That's up to you by plugging in our input values. So this is what we end up with. This is our data set. This is a, a sample data set at least. Again, the data set doesn't end here, doesn't begin here. It can be anything we wanna to choose to uh, put in. I just chose these five numbers. Now from this, we actually can learn a little bit. We can see a little bit about how our equation is working. Now every time I went up a number, how much did my output change? Three, right? I went up one on my input, my output went up one as well. Up one on the input, up three on the output. That's a good pattern. That signifies a linear equation. Now, you might not actually be using a linear equation, I am, but you may still be able to learn some things about your equation by seeing how those numbers are changing whenever you change your input. So this is the process though. 
Again, if you want to choose an x squared equation, an x to the fifth equation, anything in the world, it can be a huge long polynomial. You can plug it in, you can solve it, you can, get in, you can put in inputs, get out outputs, make your data set. Now I should mention one last thing before we end this video, that every one of these parts of a data set are actually coordinates that you could graph. So like this right here is a coordinate, negative two, one. This is a coordinate negative one, four, so on and so forth. Now, if you were to actually graph these coordinates and then kind of play connect the dots, guess what? You would successfully graph the line of the equation you're working with. So if I were to put all of these on a coordinate plane, on a piece of graph paper, and I drew a line through them, well, that's the same line I would get as if I put that equation into some electronic graphing software. I can graph any given line by creating this data table and using them as coordinates. It's a great tool to, to know and a great tool to use, maybe even whenever you're trying to compare a graph you already have to see does it match this equation that I am trying to represent it by. Anyway, if you have any questions, Feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.